It's the Flow Friday Sports Show, and we're getting into the thick of the finals action over in the Hume Netball Competition, and none other than our resident expert, Carla Fletcher, is here to tell us all about how the weekend's action went and how she thinks it all might go this coming weekend. Great to have you again, Carla. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks, Alex. How are you? Not doing too badly, Carla, and I'm very intrigued to see how the Hume Netball finals are going to pan out. We're deep into finals action now because this has been such an exciting and and thrilling and close competition throughout the entire minor rounds. So uh, we had action across both Saturday and Sunday last weekend. We'll start with Saturday, so give us the running order on the events that took place. Um, yes, look, it was great to be back at Warbundry, um playing finals uh, last weekend. And um, a big thank you to the Warbundry, um Rec Ground Committee who, uh, you know, had everything ready for us to go. And um, all the committee who worked really hard, to, you know, just so teams could um, get on the court and enjoy um, finals. So, look, we had a double-header elimination round last weekend and we had some really close matches um, across all, gra- ga- all grades. Sorry. Um, on Saturday, we saw our first draw in C Reserve, with the score being even at the end of the game. And um, Billabong Crows, they eventually um, went out winners, um, 45 to 44 against Lockhart in extra time. Um, Lockhart's Erin McPherson, she took the best on court um, medal for the day. And um, in the A grade match, Billabong Crows, they were just a bit too strong for Colcaid, and they came away with a really solid 59 to 41 win. And so they'll advance now to the minor, fi- minor finals. Um, Colcan, look, they worked really hard over the game, trying some changes. Um, but, um, you know, unfortunately, they couldn't stop the Crows. And well done to Bethany Maloney from the Crows, who was named best on court with an excellent display of shooting. Yeah, with Cole Can, it just they remind me a bit of Port Power in the AFL this season. They have real uh, glimpses of strong displays, but it always felt like perhaps they never had the legs to go all the way. So it's a shame for them. Tell us about Sunday's action. Yeah, look, there was also a mixed bag of games on Sunday with um, one of the closest games going um, between Dindra and Ramble Bundry Giants in the 17 and under grade. Um, Ramble Bundry came out with a one goal win, 52 to 51. So it was a fantastic game. And their goal attack from, um, the Giants, Rory Colhagen, she, um, playing best on court. Um, and then that was, um, closely followed in the next time slot bar with the eight grade clash between fourth place How Long and fifth Locker. And this game certainly didn't disappoint the crowd. It was hugely contested from the very first whistle. Um, and the league, Change throughout the game with how long claiming victory like 52 to 49 and um, Abby Lisky um, how long's goal defense she was awarded best on court by the umpire so that's just a wrap up of a few of the games from last weekend what would you say was your highlight on the weekend Carla oh look uh, look I think the highlight was just getting back out um, all clubs being there and cheering on their teams after the last two years it was just fantastic to see Warbundry come alive and um, everyone, you know, just um, helped out and went about their jobs and there was some great, great netball play um, over that weekend. Here, here. Now, let's discuss what's happening tomorrow and Sunday. We've got a massive weekend of netball. The finals really delivering. So just unpack the first day of action for us, Carla. Saturday, how do you think it's all going to go? Um, look, on Saturday, we see the top of the table class in um, all eight grades. Um, with Osborne, you know, they're very strong and they're re- being represented in five of those grades. Um, we're just going to have a look at the um, A-grade major semi-final. Um, the ladder leaders, Ginger, they'll take on Osborne and it could be a huge game of netball. Look, both teams will be working really hard to advance to the grand final, so I, I don't think they're going to leave nothing um, on the court. Um, they'll go out really hard. Um, they have both have strong shooters and defenders, so I think it's going to be up to the midcourt players to um, make some turnovers and hopefully, hopefully their shooters can capitalise on them. Um, I noticed both coaches, Sally Hunter and Stephen Vogel, um, they were out viewing the games over last weekend, so I'm sure this week they've been doing their homework. And I just think it's going to be a cracking game. Um, I don't think there's going to be much in it, but, um, yeah, I I really can't pick this one. Um, It just depends who gets their goals in on the day and um, how hard each team fights. 
but I think Syndra might have a couple of goals up on Osborne, but I would not underestimate Osborne's, um, yeah, effort on the weekend at all. You say there's not going to be much in it. There was barely anything in it when it comes to how the ladder placings ended up. We only had Jinder winning by four points in the end, winning the minor premiership. Uh, so do you feel as though, Carla, that uh, the side that goes into the finals having won the minor rounds, uh, you know, there's a certain pressure on them to defend their, uh, you know, their their legacy from the minor rounds and thus uh, that extra bit of pressure may be their undoing? Or do you feel as though, you know, they rightfully believe going into the finals that, well, we're the first place team and, uh, you know, it's on everyone else to prove uh, otherwise that we're not the the highest calibre side going into the finals? Yeah, look, it's going to be really interesting. Um, I think, um, you know, no doubt if you win on, on Saturday, you know, you've got that little bit of an upper hand, but it's also handy that to keep playing as well. So, um, you know, a rest, a week rest, or you know, you keep playing, keeps that rhythm going. Um, look, I don't think if you win on Saturday that you're guaranteed you're going to win the week after. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it's just going to be an amazing game, and that's all that you know. Both of these teams have got some amazing players, and um, they both play a very similar. Similar style of netball, um, but so it's, yeah, it's going to be really interesting, and I'm sure even um, Sunday's game, um, you know, the winners from those as well will, um, you know, um, they'll all have to really work hard and play their best game of netball. Yeah, well, I'm glad you brought that up. Tell us about the order of play on Sunday. There's still plenty to get through there. Yeah, so you know, that's another elimination round. If you lose on Sunday, um, that you know, unfortunately, it's the end of your season. Um, and all games will be played at how long? Um, and look, last week's winners in the um, A-grade games, uh, Billabong Crows and how long they'll complete and hopefully advance to the um, preliminary final. Look, I'm sure how long will have a huge supporter, supporter base. But, you know, the Crows, they'll come out in numbers as well as they've got four teams playing on the Sunday. So it's going to be another blockbuster game. They both played really well on the weekend and they both, um, both of the two best on court will be um, in the um, shooting circle together against um, as opposition. So, look, it's going to be another great, fantastic weekend of netball and I'd just like to wish everyone all the best on the footy field as well and the netball courts and um, can't wait to see what happens. Great work, Carla Fletcher. Enjoy the Feast of Finals on the weekend. Carla Fletcher, our expert on all things Hume Netball. Thank you so much again for joining us on the Flow Friday Sports Show. We'll chat to you next week to hear about how it all went. Enjoy it all, Carla. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Alex.